walking through the offer-based recurring model. So this is the setup for when you want to use an offer to hold many products like we've just been discussing. So first off, you want to make sure that you know which products you're going to put into the offer. So we're going to click over onto your products tab and here again, this is where you would make your product if you haven't already done so. You can see I have a bunch of different products. So we're going to use these as we're working through this test case scenario. So first off, what you want to do is just go to offers. When you're on offers, now you're going to create a new offer. On this new offer, obviously, you're going to name it. We're going to keep ours consistent. We're going to say testing, um, sorry, offer based recurring. And we're going to use multiple products. So this first screen, you can just choose whatever product you want to put in there. So we'll just choose product one and we'll click save. So as we do that, Kajabi creates the offer. Here it is. You're going to customize all the portions of this offer. We're not going to do that on this video. You can always check out the offer checkout customization video and it will walk you through all of those pieces. So what we do want to do is click on the price because that I do want to show you so that we make sure we set that up correctly for recurring subscription because again, it's a gym, they're paying for access to come in, use your equipment for the set period of time that their account is in good standing. So the payment amount will make it $20, choose your currency, then you can choose your frequency. So billing the customer every one, two months, three months, four months, whatever you would like, and the frequency and then the time frame. So weekly, monthly, or annually. I'm gonna keep it as monthly. And then you also have the option of the trial period. I am a huge fan, both from a customer standpoint and also a business owner standpoint. I like the free trial. I do not wanna build another lead magnet, another thing when I want them to come into the membership. I want them to see, hey, Here's all the stuff that is available and is going on. There are many ways to decide what content is available during your trial period. So definitely, if, you have, if you're interested in that, watch the video on how to really uh, maximize the trial period and even the setup fee. So again, that's on the trial period video. So for the trial period, if you decide to use it, set those dates now. I think you've got to give them 14 to a month because people are busy. And we think as soon as they click buy, they're going to jump right in and look at everything. They're not. Think about your own behavior. Uh, you might register, but it might be a week before you make it back to actually getting into the content. So give people the amount of time. You can always tweak this. So trial period is set there. And then the setup fee, let's, and this works for a trial period and it also works just for your recurring model. Do you want to charge a setup fee? So for instance, a, an example of a paid trial, you could give them a free trial for 14 days and have a setup fee as $1. So that would be a paid 14 day trial. You could also charge $50 to set up the recurring model and $20 thereafter and not use a trial period. So you make that determine, determination based on what is best for you, your business, your content, your customers. The beautiful thing is Kajabi makes it so easy to set it up any way that you want. When you're all done, click save. And now we're gonna go and add in the rest of your products. So. Over here, you'll see it says included products. And all we have to do is click add a product and we can put the mini course testing March in there. We can add in, let's put in, there we go, testing. There we go. And we'll click save. So now you have this recurring membership model with multiple products and the offer 
is how you're giving access to those different products. Now, when you create new content, so let's go over to products and let's say you decide I'm gonna create a new product, I want my members to have access to this product. What you can do is you click new product and we're gonna keep it really easy. We're gonna just add in a mini course. So let's say you are adding in content for the upcoming month. It's gonna be a separate product. Mini course it is. We click view. Now we're gonna click generate the mini course product. And here we're gonna put testing offer based recurring new content and click save. Now, the cool thing and why I really like this, doing an offer-based membership recurring model, is that you can still sell all of the products that are in this offer for the recurring base on their own. So for people who don't wanna pay you and it isn't right for them to do a subscription, they can buy the standalone product. So here it is, we've made the product. You would obviously go in, customize all of this. So using um, the product customization videos, go through, customize your product. Now you wanna give it to your offer. So you need to go into offers and here we are, we have the testing offer based recurring. So we're gonna click on this and when we do this, it will open up, okay, and add product choose product, we want to choose testing offer based recurring new content. There we go. And we're going to click save. Just like that. Now, when you have members that have these offers, it will ask you, do you want to give this product to existing members? And you will choose yes or no. 99% of the time, you're obviously going to say yes, give it to the exist, you know, give it to everybody because that's why you're using this model. You may have a unique circumstance where that wouldn't work and I would encourage you to really think out why are you not wanting to give it to the other members, but um, like I said, 99% of the time, you're totally gonna add it to the new members. So that is how the offer-based recurring model works within Kajabi. Now, once you have the offer, you need to put it onto a sales page. So go ahead, customize your offer. When you have the offer checkout page customized, come back to the video and I will show you how to easily link it up to your sales page. All right, we're gonna now take this offer and get it onto your sales page. So what you wanna do is click on website and then you're gonna click on page builder. You're going to build out a sales page using the building pages. So first off, if you already have an existing page, you're simply going to edit. If you haven't created one yet, I want you to click on new page. When you do that, it will open up and you may choose from any of the gorgeous, gorgeous themes that Kajabi has ready for you. And I encourage you, if you haven't already done so, look through. You may just stumble upon something that you absolutely love. To keep this uh, video very easy, we're gonna stick with Premiere. And so we selected that. We're gonna click Get Started. Then we're gonna do Sales, uh, sorry, SP, Testing Offer Based Recurring. Now. I use abbreviations at the beginning of my building pages so that they're easy to sort. So SP is sales page, TU is thank you page, LP is a landing page, WWW are pages that I might use for my website. And so the URL, this does affect the URL of the page, but I don't mind that. It doesn't, um, it's not a big deal for me. I know that the, you know, having an SP in the URL, it's not going to stop someone from buying from me. So uh, that is why you will see when I'm doing these videos, the abbreviation is there so that it's easy to sort within the page builder. Now, Kajabi is building my page for me. Ta-da! So easy. 
And what you can do is underneath settings, go to your presets. Here, if you want to quickly change the layout of this page, you can apply any of these presets. Then, um, if you want to totally start from blank, obviously blank canvas, it will save you from having to delete and hide uh, sections. We're going to just go with the long form sales page just so I can show you how it, you would apply it. Click apply. All this means is Kajabi is going to go pick different blocks and build them out in a different order. So just like having a Lego set, you said, I would like long form sales page. Kajabi says, no problem. Here's the Legos you need. And here's the order that they um, will pl be placed in. Now, I'm not we're not going to go through the customization of the page builder. You can use the page builder customization videos that are in theme extreme based on the premiere theme. But what I do want to show you is go into the call to action. When you're on the call to action, no matter where it is on your sales page, you can change the action of where the button goes. What you're going to want to do is click go to a checkout page. Now you want to search the offer based recurring that you created. I like to have it open in a new window because uh, that way, if someone gets distracted or wants to flip back and read more before they enter payment information, it's just easier. So I prefer it as a customer, but you can decide whether you want it to open in a new window or not. So when we click save, now this call to action will take them to the offer checkout page where they can purchase the offer based recurring membership that you have just created. If you have any questions, please feel free, leave them in the comments. I'm glad to answer them. But this is how the offer based recurring membership model works big picture. And then also how you can set it up inside Kajabi. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourself being able to put together all the pieces for, you know, your membership site and I will talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.